A lot of you asked about camping gear, camping supplies. I love getting out in the woods. It's therapy for me. Once a year, I go to the Rocky Mountains, mostly Montana, Bob Marshall Wilderness area, and go on a long alpine trek where I concentrate on privation, try to live off the land as much as possible. But I'm gonna talk about some camping gear here. Just give you a couple ideas. So, of course, we've gotta have a pack. Uh, I love this Osprey, and it's a uh, Stratus 36. It's good for between one and five days, depending on how you pack and how savvy you are. Because it doesn't have a lot of room, you know, when in doubt, get something a little bigger than the 36. But this is good for me. It works well, and it rides awesome. One piece of kit that you need to go to the woods with is a ground mat. Now, this is an inflatable one, and it's cool as hell. Uh, pros and cons with inflatables, they could get a hole in them, and then you have to repair them. So never go to the woods without duct tape, duct tape and super glue. So if you have an inflatable and you get a hole, you find yourself with a hole in it, you can repair that guy with duct tape and super glue. This super thin, cool jacket, uh, it's basically like parachute material. So if you need a quick adjustment in clothing, because where I go, the weather can change in a freaking nanosecond. So I'm ready for that. Plus I'll carry a hard shell, like a Gore-Tex shell, because it'll be 70 degrees. 75 degrees one minute and you'll see a front roll in and the bottom will drop out and you're in the 30s with snow the next so you got to be ready for that <clears throat> um, this is a a good it's a tent you know it's a one-man tent it's a eureka and I've, i i like it it's it's treated me well um, now this is only a, a 50 degree bag uh, but it's good enough for me with the ground, with keeping myself off of the ground, and in a tent. Works, it's been working well. Maps and compass, <clears throat> along with comfort, an inflatable pillow. Ah, yes. <clears throat> one of the best pieces of comfort, one of the best comfort items I've found is this chair. These are incredible. You know, there's nothing like, after a long day of movement, being able to sit down in a chair versus a wet log or wet or jagged rock. Got to have a hatchet. You know, somebody in your team has to have a hatchet. And or a saw. It's a good saw here. I mean, it's served me well. I've used it a bunch. It's just a Coleman. It's a cheapie, but it, it served me well. Um, I've always done well with the mountain house meals. How many do you take? I don't know. How many do you need? <clears throat> I try to live off the land as much as possible, hunt it, kill it, eat it. I catch a lot of fish and I'll get to that part in a minute. Gotta be able to uh, filter water on the, on the move, so just a life straw with a Nalgene bottle. Water storage. This Ketadine base camp bag is the heat, because you could I don't know how many, it's several gallons, but uh, you fill this up, fold it over, tie it high to a tree, pinch this off, and then you have a source of water in your base camp that everybody could share. Everybody's got to pull their workload too and go refill it. All right. <clears throat> Let me change your position here. Flask for my bourbon. A, uh, Orvis fly fishing rod along with the fishing rods I tell you man these are cool these ten cars they are cool so basically a telescoping fly rod and you don't even know how to fly fish to use one of these really neat stuff right there <clears throat> excuse me when I go into that wilderness area uh, where I go boasts the highest concentration of grizz in the lower 48 so uh, where the group I go with carries firearms um, I carry a uh, Glock 22 and 40, and I use this ALS, this Safari Land ALS, because it rides low and it doesn't impede my movement with my backpack. I, I don't even know it's there. I have a, a big uh, Surefire light on it, and uh, that 40 is, is packs enough punch to, to eliminate something big, but it's not so big of a round that it won't it destroy 
something small that you're trying to kill and eat. <clears throat> Personal hygiene. So, yeah, I'm going out into the woods with a toothbrush and toothpaste, man. I ain't messing around. I got uh, some um, gold bond in there, toothpaste, eye drops. Got my little pill pack, Tylenol, ibuprofen, aspirin, Benadryl, Zyrtec. Jet boil. Love these things, they're great. Multi tool, boom. Of course, I'll have a knife on me too. Suspension cord, daisy chain, and fly fishing stuff. Uh, I pre cut tin foil because I have a way of cooking trout in tin foil in a little uh, Dutch oven. So I pre cut these, so one per outing. You know, I could cook. About uh, three trout in one of these things. And that's about it in a nutshell. I'm missing first aid and a few things. But anyway, just one over the world view of what I take. Thanks a lot.